Hey Iconic Crew, this is Manus here from Iconic Fitness. Again, thank you for tuning in and welcome back to what's day three of this week's training. We're on Tuesday, it's everyone's favorite Olympic lift day. We are still on clean and jerks, working our way up to a new one rep max clean and jerk. Like last week, we're doing one clean and two jerks every minute on the minute, but this week for two extra minutes. So we're gonna do 10 full minutes or 10 rounds of that. As a warm up, we're doing a quick kettlebell combo. We do a set of 15 kettlebell swings, 15 goblet squats, 10 kettlebell push presses on the right, 10 kettlebell push presses on the left, and a set of 20 hollow rocks. We're gonna run through that twice. After that, a quick barbell warm up. As always, we start with a set of five stiff legged deadlifts, get a nice big stretch in those hamstrings, five power cleans from just below the knees, five front squats, five strict presses, five push presses. Once you've gotten through this, add a little bit of weight. Then start doing multiple sets of the complex that we're gonna do. Working up after every second set or so. Do one clean, either a power clean or a squat clean, depending on what you've been doing up until now, and two jerks, either a push jerk or a split jerk. Once you're ready, we'll all start the EMOM together. You have, as always, the opportunity to add a little bit of weight after every second minute, okay? Try and stick to that plan. That's gonna keep you disciplined on how fast you move because you want to leave a little bit of time to add weight. It's also going to give you a plan on where you want to start and where you want to end. If, however, you get to a point where you're failing a couple of reps, multiple reps, take a little bit of weight off, do the previous one well again for a round or two, and then add smaller weights. We've got an extra two minutes on this EMOM. That means it gives you a chance to add a little bit of weight on what you got last week or do the weight that you got last week for a couple of extra rounds. Again, we're building up to a max. You should have a clear idea of what you want to end or what you want your new one rep max to be over the next six or seven weeks. On the workout side of today's programming, we have my favorite type of workout, intervals with dedicated rest in between. It's task-based. We've got to get through seven rounds of the following three movements. We start off with one rope climb, then seven handstand push-ups or hand release push-ups, then a set of five power clean and jerks. At the end of your power clean and jerks, you can give yourself up to 20 seconds rest. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot of rest, but it's gonna be just enough time for you to regain your composure, catch your breath a little bit, and hit the next round. What I like about this type of workout is it teaches you how to move fast. You wanna get through each round as quickly and as efficiently as possible. It teaches you to hold on. You're building a little bit of mental strength. You've done two power cleans. I've gotta hold on for those last three and then rest. It also teaches you how to do multiple sets unbroken. None of these movements should be broken up, okay? Yes, you'll get tired. Yes, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but try and condition yourself to stick to unbroken movements. It's never a lot of reps. The weight shouldn't be that high that you have to break up the power and clean and jerks. So load accordingly. Every round of these seven rounds should be a sprint. I want you to try and go unbroken as long as possible. That means when you pick up the bar for your clean and jerks, hold on for all five. If you can't hold on for at least the first five rounds, you're probably loading a little bit too much weight. Same thing with the handstand push-ups. If you can't punch out a set of seven, you're either scaling it too hard, making it too difficult for yourself, elevate your head slightly, or you're choosing a scale that is too hard for you. Bring it down to either box push-ups or hand release push-ups, whatever you can do quickly and efficiently. On the weight side, again, choose a weight that you can do five power clean and jerks unbroken every time you pick up that bar. The recommended weight for guys is 135 pounds. That's 95 pounds for the goals. That should be quick and snappy, okay? Unbroken, touch and go, power clean and jerks 
every round, hold on tight. Um, chalk is your friend, but don't put it down and rest until you've completed all five reps. Three things I want you to remember with this, okay? Hold on, it's fine. You get enough rest to catch your breath and refresh the chalk on your hands at the end of each round, okay? Move fast and efficiently and then have a little bit of fun.